So say we have a known static IPv6 server. Let's call this server S1, which is having a known static IPv6 address. Now I do have a DNS set up here. Uh, DNS, uh, which is having a code error code points to the uh, address of server one. So every time when the server restarts, it is going to go through a Slack setup and it, which will throw uh, a random v6 address to server one. So if you do have a DNS setup like this, then you will have to go through the setup of actually having to change the server one's latest IPv6 address by coming to the DNS setup. Now this is actually it takes a lot of time and it doesn't make any sense all the time because you have to come to the DNS and update the uh, V6 uh, code record all the time. Now it takes a long time to spin up and uh, it takes a lot of effort. Now what I've been doing uh, all the time and even now is that I do have another setup in the middle. I do have a DDNS service in the middle. Now what they does is that they gives the givers a host name which we can use and this host name can be used in the DNS as well. Now once I have a CNAME set up which is pointing to the host name of the DNS now once I have this set up or you can go ahead and create a new host name and add a CNAME which then you can point to the DDNS host name. It does the same thing. So uh, basically when you have a, uh, a CNAME actually pointing to the host name of the DDNS, now why do we use this? So the DNS takes a long propagation time than a DDNS service. So the moment you update the IPv6 address to your DDNS service, it takes only less than a minute to spin up than your DNS code error code change. So every time I change my DDNS address, it takes only less than a minute to spin up. And that's more than that's less propagation time than a DNS. Um, so this setup is actually really useful. I've been using this for a long time and it the downtime is less than a minute, as I said. Now, there are few, there are many DDNS providers, but I use DYNV6. Uh, they are specifically for uh, V6 addresses. I don't know they provide v4 but v4 ddns it's it's a terrible story so uh, they provide a D, uh, ddns service for v6 addresses and i do have a script for updating the v6 address uh, with a bash command uh, i mean it's a bash script for updating the v6 address you can find that script uh, in my GitHub by going to GitHub slash benesh4. You can find there are a few repos you can find it. Uh, so this script is actually going to update your IPv6 address uh, to the DDNS uh, DYNV6 from by actually using the uh, API provided by the DYNV6. Uh, so this is really convenient once you update the V6 address to the DDNS and then you can within no time uh, your traffic will be routed to your new service ipv6 address so you have no downtime and uh, once you once you try this you will see this is more efficient than having changing your core data record all the time yeah that's it and uh, thank you for watching